Hello everyone and welcome to the Ion Pokemon League's Winter 2013 Ion Cup Finals. I am Al Bazler of the Ion Game Corner and I will be bringing you all of the action from this best of five final series of the first ever Ion Pokemon League season. Trainers have been battling now for the past two and a half months to determine who would be the very first Ion Cup champion. And we are now about to find out as the finals will take place between the number one seeded Cerulean Stars and the number three seeded Pallet Town Heroes. Let's take a look at both of these teams' records and the schedule for this best of five series. The Cerulean Stars went undefeated in the regular season, going a perfect 8-0 and defeated the Saffron City Sizzlers and the Mahogany Town Misfits in their playoff run, while the number three seeded Pallet Town Heroes went 7-1 and one with their only loss in the regular season, coming back in week two to the Cerulean Stars, so you know the heroes are looking for a little bit of vengeance here in the finals. In the playoffs, Pallet Town defeated the Olivine Obliterators and the Lava Ridge Firestarters to get to this point. Now, this best of five series will be conducted with the first two games in the home field advantage of the Cerulean Stars, which means those will be conducted as rotation battles. Battles three and four shift to Pallet's home field, which are single battles, and then battle five, if it's necessary, will come back to the Cerulean home field advantage and another rotation battle. Let's take a look at the rosters of these two teams. Each team in the Ion Pokemon League is allowed ten Pokemon on their roster of which they will select six for each battle in between battles in a match or a series trainers are allowed to switch Pokemon from their roster into their starting lineup the Cerulean Stars led by Steven have many Pokemon that either cause or gain effects from rain being on the field you notice Politoed, Starmie and a cast of others but you'll also see some Pokemon that don't necessarily benefit from the rain, but they round out the Stars roster very nicely. The Pallet Town heroes who are captained by Zero, very much representative of the town of Pallet. Two very famous trainers who have come there, you recognize some of their Pokemon on this team, such as Pikachu, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise, among others. A very interesting matchup between these two. Again, remember, back in week two, the Stars defeated the Heroes. So the Stars are looking for a repeat performance en route to an undefeated perfect season. The Heroes looking for some revenge and their chance at the Ion Cup. So let's get right down to the field of action for battle number one in the Ion Cup Finals. Both trainers are ready to go, so let's find out who they are going to use to kick off this rotation battle. The Pallet Town heroes are in the foreground, and they send out the team of Pikachu, Alakazam, and Machamp. The Cerulean Stars and Steven will send out Frog Fuchsia, the Politoed, Tornadus, and Shaggy, the Hydreigon. Interesting matchup here. Politoed causes rain to fall on the field. The stars rotate over to Tornadus. Tornadus uses Hurricane. It strikes Pikachu hard. This is not an effective type matchup, but Hurricane is such a strong attack, it almost takes Pikachu down anyways. Pikachu has been confused by the attack on top of it. Pikachu trying to shake off his confusion. He uses Thunder. Thunder strikes down on top of Tornadus. Tornadus taking some heavy damage here and just hangs on by virtue of his Focus Sash. Now the stars rotate over to Frog Fuchsius and the heroes rotate to Machamp. Frog Fuchsius uses Protect to defend himself from this turn. Machamp uses Dynamic Punch but Frog Fuchsius was protecting itself. Now the heroes rotate over to Alakazam, and the stars rotate to Tornadus. Tornadus uses a Tailwind, trying to boost the speed of his allies. Alakazam uses Light Screen. That's going to better protect the heroes from special attacks. Pallet Town now switches over to Pikachu. Tornadus strikes first with the Hurricane, and that is going to be enough to take Pikachu down. Pikachu, the first Pokemon down in this in the six per six me, six Pokemon matchup. Zero now sends out Golem to replace Pikachu. 
Steven rotates over to Frog Fuchsius. Frog Fuchsius fires away with a scalding water attack. This is going to be really effective on Golem. Almost down, but hanging on because of Golem's ability, which is sturdy. Oh, but Golem was burned! Golem uses Rock Polish. It's going to boost its speed, but it's not going to matter when that burn kicks in. And there it is. Golem hurt by its burn, and Golem has fainted. Zero sends out Blastoise to replace Golem and rotates his team over to Machamp. Frog Fuchsius protects itself again. Machamp goes for another dynamic punch, but again Frog Fuchsius is protecting. The Tailwind has died down now for the Stars. The heroes switch over to Alakazam, and the Stars switch to Tornadus. Tornadus gets that Tailwind going once again. And Alakazam strikes with Psychic. Tornadus is too weak to withstand that and goes down. Steven now sends out Murgil, the Toxicroak. Zero rotates over to Machamp. And Murgil uses Substitute. He has a decoy now blocking the path. Machamp uses Dynamic Punch. It strikes the Substitute. It's not very effective but it's enough to fade the Substitute away. Murgil gains some hit points back due to the rain and also due to its Black Sludge. Now the stars rotate to Politoed and Politoed lets loose with another Scald attack. Matchamp takes it, a little bit of damage, and fires back with Dynamic Punch. It's a direct hit on Fro Frog Fuchsius, who is taking some damage here. He hangs on, but he has been confused by the, the, the dynamic punch attack. Frog Fuchsius uses its leftovers to recover some health, and now the stars rotate over to Murgil. Pallet Town goes to Alakazam. Murgil strikes quickly with a sucker punch. It connects on Alakazam. Super effective damage, and it's enough to cause Alakazam to faint. Alakazam no longer in this battle. Murgil recovering some health due to the rain. The light screen has worn off for Pallet Town. Zero now sends out Snorlax and rotates his team over to Machamp as front and center. Murgil uses a substitute. The decoy is in place once again. Machamp uses Earthquake, it's going to be super effective, and enough to fade the Substitute once again. Murgle, again, the rain healing him after the turn, and the Black Sludge puts him almost back at full health. Murgle now using Bulk Up to boost attack and defense. Champ fires back with a dynamic punch. It's not very effective, but did do a little damage, but more importantly, it inflicts confusion on Murgil. Again, Murgil recovering some of his health. And Steven rotates over to Frog Fuchsius. Zero rotates to Snorlax. Frog Fuchsius still feeling the effects of confusion but is able to protect itself. Snorlax, though not attacking, uses Curse. It will reduce his speed, but in turn will increase his attack and defense. Frog Fuchsius now recovering some of his health due to leftovers. Steven rotates over to Murgo, while Zero chooses Machamp to rotate to. Murgle still confused, but able to strike with a Drain Punch. Decent damage done to Machamp, and Murgle recovers some of the energy drained from Machamp. Machamp now firing back with an Earthquake. It's super effective. Will it be enough? No, it is not. Murgle still in this one, and now will recover some of his lost health. 
Steven now rotates over to Shaggy. Shaggy lets loose with Dragon Pulse. Machamp can't withstand the blast and goes down. Pallet Town now down to its last two Pokemon. Blastoise is rotated over to, and Murgle takes front and center for the Cerulean Stars. Pallet Town switches to Snorlax. Murgle is confused, but he strikes himself in his own confusion. Snorlax taking advantage of the situation to get in another curse. His speed lowers some more, and attack and defense is raised once again. Murgle now recovering some of his health. Murgle still feeling the effects of the confusion, and once again strikes himself out of confusion. Snorlax now lets loose with a body slam. Murgle takes the hit and goes down. Steven now sends out Satesh, his Lucario, to replace Murgle. Satesh is floating in the air with his air balloon. Zero rotates over to Blastoise, and Steven chooses Frog Fuchsius. Blastoise lets loose with a water spout. It's not very effective on the water type Politoed. Politoed still feeling effects of its confusion, and gives Blastoise an encore. Blastoise now is going to be locked into Water Spout. Frog Fuchsius now recovers with some leftovers. Steven switches over to Shaggy, and Shaggy lets go with another Dragon Pulse. It is a direct hit on Blastoise, who takes some damage. Now Blastoise fires back with a Water Spout. It's not very effective and does less damage now that Blastoise has taken damage. Shaggy once again lets loose with a Dragon Pulse. And Blastoise goes down! The Pallet Town heroes down to their last Pokemon. Snorlax now trying to keep things going for Pallet Town. Frog Fuchsius takes front and center for the stars. Oh, but Frog Fuchsius can't attack except he hits himself with the confusion. Snorlax now fires with a Thunder Punch, and that's gonna do it for Frog Fuchsius. Snorlax taking down his second Pokemon of the battle. Steven now sends out Storm Jewel, his Starmie, and rotates over to Satesh. Satesh with a close combat. Getting right in tight on Snorlax, doing some massive damage, but Snorlax is able to hang on. The assault lowers Satesh's defense and special defense. Snorlax hits a body slam on Satesh. And it's a not very effective, but effective enough to dig down Satesh, the third KO of the battle for Snorlax. The Cerulean Star is now down to their last two Pokemon. Shaggy is rotated in and fires away with Dragon Pulse. Snorlax survives the attack and goes to sleep with rest. Snorlax goes, takes a snooze, and recovers all of his health in the process. What a turn of events here for Snorlax. And look at that, Snorlax's Chesto Berry allowed it to wake up immediately. Steven now switches over to Storm Jewel, who lets loose with a Psychic Shockwave. Snorlax taking some damage, it was a heavy hit there, but Snorlax able to fire back with a Body Slam. Storm Jewel takes some heavy damage, and Storm Jewel goes down! The fourth KO of the match for Snorlax, it's now down to Snorlax and Shaggy. Shaggy fires away with another Dragon Pulse. Snorlax shrugs it off and hits a Body Slam on Shaggy. Could this be? It is enough to take down Shaggy. What a comeback for the Pallet Town Heroes and Snorlax, and they take the first battle of the Ion Cup Finals. What an amazing comeback there. I thought for, for sure that this one was going to go to the Cerulean Stars, 
Let's look at the wrap-up as now the Palatown heroes have defeated the Cerulean Stars in battle number one and lead this best of five series one to zero. Snorlax for the heroes was the MVP with five knockouts and for Cerulean, Shaggy had two knockouts in a losing effort. Battle number two will be the same format, a rotation battle. Gear up for that. For more information on the Ion Pokemon League and all of the Ion Game Corner organized play events, check out IonGameCorner.com. For the Ion Game Corner, I'm Al Bowser once again. In battle number one of the Ion Cup Finals, the Pelotown Heroes defeat the Cerulean Stars and lead the series 1-0. We'll catch you at battle number two.